Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about how to sketch the graph of a circle. To complete this problem, we'll complete the square with respect to x and y to change the equation into standard form, identify the center and radius of the circle, and then sketch the circle. Let's take a look. In this particular problem, we've been asked to sketch the graph of x squared plus y squared plus 8x plus 7 is equal to 0. I've written a formula here for the standard form of a circle, which is the quantity x minus h squared plus the quantity y minus k squared is equal to r squared. This is the standard form for the equation of a circle, and what this tells us is that a circle written in this form has its center at hk, the coordinate point hk, and a radius of r. So if we can get the equation of our circle into this form here, we know that its center will be identified here by h and k, and its radius will be at r. So the first thing we want to do in order to transform our equation into the standard form of the circle is to complete the square with respect to both x and y. While we do that, we'll go ahead and move any constants that we have to the right-hand side. So this value here of 7, the constant 7, will be subtracted from both sides to move to the right-hand side. In order to complete the square with respect to both x and y, we'll group our x terms together and we'll get x squared plus 8x, and we'll group our y terms together. We only have y squared, so we'll go ahead and put that here by itself, and then we'll subtract to move the 7 to the right-hand side because we want to move all of our constants to the right, so we'll get negative 7. When we have an equation like this where we have both a left and a right-hand side, we can go ahead and complete the square in the following way. With respect to x, we're going to take the value or the coefficient on this x to the first term here. So we'll take 8, and we'll say 8 divided by 2, we'll divide it by 2, and we'll get 4. Whatever we get right here then, we'll square. So we'll square that, and we'll get 16. 16 will be the value that we'll add to x squared plus 8x in order to complete the square. But adding it to the left-hand side requires also that we add it to the right-hand side. Because there's no first degree y term, or term that involves y to the first power, we don't have to complete the square for y, we're just going to get 0y plus 0. So we'll see what that looks like in a second. Let's go ahead and add in our 16. We'll get x squared plus 8x plus 16. We've completed the square with respect to x. For y squared, we'll get y squared plus 0y plus 0. We don't need to complete the square because we didn't have a first degree y term. We didn't have this term here. So we can just go ahead and add in 0y and 0. And then over here on the right hand side we have our negative 7. But remember that we added 16 to the left hand side so we also have to add it to the right hand side in order to prevent us from changing the equation. Now we want to factor our set of x terms and factor our set of y terms. So we'll get x plus 4, or the quantity x plus 4, squared. We'll get the quantity y plus 0 squared. And then over here on the right hand side we'll get negative 7 plus 16, which will give us a positive 9. Keep in mind that our standard form for the equation of the circle is in the form x minus h and y minus k. We have two positive signs here as opposed to negative signs in our standard form. So we could, if we chose to, to get this in the exact same form, say x minus negative 4 squared plus y minus 0 squared. And notice we have r squared over here on the right hand side, so we could take the square root of 9 and call this 3 squared. Now our equation is in the exact same form as the formula we have up here for the standard equation of a circle, and we can identify different pieces of our formula. So we have in the standard form a value for h, and in our equation we have a value for h here, negative 4. If this was a positive sign, if we had left this as x plus 4, we would need to know that the standard form for the equation has a negative sign here, a minus sign, and we would have to indicate positive 4 sorry, negative 4 instead of positive 4. By changing it into x minus negative 4, we can make sure that we have the correct sign on h. We also have a value for k. So we have k here, 
we have k here in our equation, and then we have a value for r here, which we can see is 3. Knowing h, k, and r, we can find the center and radius of our circle, which will allow us to sketch it. So now we can talk about sketching the circle. We'll go ahead and draw our xy coordinate plane, and what we can see from the values we found is that the center of our circle, the center of our circle is at the point negative 4, 0, and the radius of our circle is 3. So the first thing we want to do is draw the center point. So we'll indicate negative 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we'll indicate that the center of our circle is here at negative 4, 0, and then we'll want to go out a distance of 3. So if we go out a distance of 1, 2, 3 to the right here, because 3 is the length of our radius, we know that the circle will extend this far to the right. If we go out a distance of 3 over here to the left, we know that the leftmost point in our circle will be here. And then if we go up and down a distance of 3 from our center, we can find the topmost point and the bottommost point of our circle, and then we can just connect our dots here to form the graph of the circle. If we want to, we can label this here, the center, at negative 4, 0, and indicate that our circle has a radius of 3. And that's it. That's how we sketch the graph of the circle. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.